I felt I had a connection with Paige and I wanted to explore that. That first night, all the all the damage was done. It was just damage control, like, it was just mad. If I wasn't done, it probably everyone would have known I was in a friendship couple with um, China. But then I think Natalia, when she came in. Hi guys, Jodie here. And as promised, I was giving you not one, but two Love Island interviews. And now I'm joined by my fellow Scott, it's Jay. <laughs> Jay, the Thanks only Scott me. in the villa this year, 2022. I know. I was I know. so buzzing when I heard your accent. I was like, yes, we've finally got a Scottish guy. Yeah, it was amazing to be on there. And uh, yeah, I thought, I th there's always usually only one Scott on it every yeah. series, isn't there? So yeah, <laughs> I'll take the class of 2022. You were our Scott this year and you went in, you were a bombshell. I think you turned everybody's heads. Like, you might not have known it at the time, but pretty much all the girls were like, who is that guy? So let's go back to your journey then. So you gave us the iconic crawling on the terrace moment with Ekansu. I Dark mean, walk. <laughs> did you expect that to become so big? Um, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I really didn't expect it to actually become a bit of an iconic moment. If I'm being honest, um, what in the in the moment just felt like a little bit of fun. Um, I didn't expect it to also erupt that night with uh, Davide's reaction. I know. Um, but obviously things are all cool now and stuff, but yeah, at the time I didn't expect it to erupt like that. I mean, she literally was crawling on her knees for you. She was. And then it just <laughs> didn't work out. So what was, you said, I think you said it was something to do with personalities. Did you just, was she too fiery for you, Jay? Uh, I don't I don't think it's person, uh, yeah, like not fiery in that sense. I just felt that, um, you know, Ekin's such a strong woman and, you know, that's, that's amazing. But I just felt maybe on the outside, I wasn't sure if we would actually be that compatible. Right, okay. And I just, in there, I felt like I also had uh, I, I felt like I had a connection with Paige and I wanted to explore that and I didn't feel, feel like I would be true to myself if I just continued to stay with Ekin. Totally, and did you kind of have a sneaky suspicion that there was maybe unfinished business between her and Davide? Yeah, I mean, like I kind of got that impression. I mean, I mean Ekin didn't say to me that, um, she, she said to me that it was definitely over between her and Davide, clearly it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it wasn't, that wasn't my reason uh, for, for moving. It wasn't, I didn't leave Ekin out of fear of, yeah. of that. I left because I felt that um, when I came in, I definitely felt like I had a connection with Paige. I maybe overlooked it with yep. when things moved so fast with Ekin. Because <laughs> you were too busy on the terrace? Yeah. <laughs> Crawling Probably. about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, obviously you did try with Paige and it was like, you know, hats off to you for actually having the balls to, yeah. to try with her. Do you wish you'd tried earlier now? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing in there, like, things move so fast yeah. and while maybe one couple's getting more intimate or developing, you, you forget that so is another couple. So when you then try to, if you like, disrupt that relationship, it's so difficult, just like it would be on the outside. And so I probably was, the timing was terrible from me, <laughs> but I could only just do what I felt. Yeah, but if, if Jax wasn't in the picture, then do you think things could have went quite well with Paige? Because a lot of people were saying you were very suited. Yeah, I mean, I think at the start, definitely, I think Paige was more open to yeah. getting to know me. But as I say, just because I think I went all in on Ekin, Paige then shut the door on me, yeah. naturally, as you would. She's moved on, she goes with Jax, and then I say, actually, I'm, I'm still interested, I want to get to know you a bit better on that romantic level. And she's gone, actually, well, no. Yeah. We'll talk about drama. Casa Amor, oh my God. I mean, we were all watching it and we were kind of shocked at the boys' behaviour. There's so many cuts to you where your face is just like, what? Like, were you shocked when you got to Casa Amor and some of them were moving the way they were moving? Honestly, like, I can't, I can't tell you that first night, all the, <laughs> all the damage was done. Yeah. Like, I was shocked. All five guys other than, uh, sorry, all, all, all guys other than me and Luca. It was just damage control. Like, yeah. it was just mad. <laughs> So were you just there kind of watching everything unfold? Like, what the hell is well, going on? Well, I think like a number of events happened. Firstly, like Andrew was, um, Big Andy was a little bit nervous going into Casa because right. obviously he didn't know how genuine Tasha was to him. And then when the girls came in and said, oh, by the way, Tasha said X, Y, Z in the he beach He just up, went wild, didn't he? He lost his head. So he went straight in for Coco. And I was like, right, well, that was, that's obviously acting out of spite. Yeah. Then you had um, Dami going with Summer. I didn't expect that. I know. And then I didn't expect uh, Jax to come over to us and say, guys, I'm going to pie Molly and get with uh, Cheyenne. Yeah, <laughs> like so much happened within that one yeah. week. But obviously because when, you know, you had tried with Paige and then her and Jax seemed to be in a good place, were you shocked when Jax was then not cracking on to one girl, but two girls? I just didn't, I mean, you know, Jax is a good guy and uh, I just didn't understand the rationale of yeah. not just Jax, but all the guys saying, you know, testing the connection. 
I just don't understand. I feel like I want to clap for you, Jay. I'm so glad you said that. Thank you. I just didn't understand that phrase the witch was getting tossed around in Casa Moore saying, I need to test the connection. I didn't get it. I didn't yeah. get it. So I was like, right, okay. And then bless when, you know, Davide was getting, getting with the Molly and then whatever, Coco as well. I thought, <laughs> guys. Like, it's what? all getting a bit incestuous, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, guys, what is, it's not a nightclub here. We're in a villa. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Oh, I love that. Yeah. But then it felt like your Love Island journey was truly kicking off. You met China, absolutely gorgeous girl. We loved her on the outside. Yeah. Really, really funny. I've been seeing she's got China one-liners. Hilarious. You guys looked incredible together. And that was going well, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Instant attraction was there for China. Um, and China are really good friends. It's just I felt that, um, again, I just can't fake it. Like, I just can't force it. If I don't feel a romantic yeah. potential there, I just can't. But then you, but you were feeling a romantic thing in Casa Moe. You were kissing, kissing in the pool, and then you came back. So what changed when you came back? Yeah, I think, I think in there when you, in Casa, it's almost like you know you're, living in a different kind of yeah. reality to what actually the villa's like. Yeah. And then when you you go back and then you start chatting to the original girls that you were there with, and you realise actually, just you're more friendship than you are okay. maybe lovers. Is it like coming back from holiday where you've got a holiday romance and yeah. you go back home and you're like actually exactly, exactly. right okay. I see. Yeah. So then obviously in the main villa, it totally kicked off as we were going to expect it to after yeah. the way everything happened. But then because you, there was the fallout between Paige and Jax, was there a part of you, this is my suspicion, was there a part of you that was thinking maybe I could try again with Paige? Um, if I'm being honest, no, because right, I'm, okay. I'm not I'm not the type of guy to, to wait around and grovel. Like, yeah. Paige obviously knew I was open, and if she felt like she wanted to talk to me, then she could have. Yeah. But I was never going to apply no. pressure and you know come back again, and um, because you can't you can't turn off her feelings for Jax just because yeah. something's happened. Yeah, of course. And so then, ha if you weren't dumped, what would have been your next move then? What was your plan? Uh, well, if I wasn't dumped, it probably everyone would have known I was in a friendship couple with um, China. But then I think Nathalia, when she came in. Oh, right. Is she your type then? Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe things with Nathalia, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's just you don't you never know what's going to happen okay. in there. It's so unpredictable. But she would have been the one that would, you would have tried? Probably, yeah. Well, I, I don't know how long she's going to last if she's fighting with Ekin, So maybe maybe there's a chance here. Yeah, good luck. Speak good to luck her to on it. the outside. <laughs> maybe. Maybe already have. Wait a minute. Did you just say that you've already spoke to Nathalia? Did I hear that or did I just make that up? How have you already spoke to her? No, I just, How do you know, Jay? No, maybe just a few DMs before we've gone in. But ah. we both didn't know. From what I can remember, it wasn't very deep. It just, yeah, maybe one or two. And apart from Nathalia then, who's obviously yeah. we know you like her, what are you looking for? What do you want, Jay? Because it did feel like there was quite a few, obviously, opportunities and then they didn't work. So what, what do you want? Tell me. Tell us. Well, first and foremost, I need to fancy them. Right, okay. And that's a big one yeah and I think for me in there it was pretty obvious there was only two girls two ladies in there that I only really fancied which was Ekin and Paige right um, and then it just comes down to personality and if you actually get on and you think you're compatible right um, okay. so not much to ask I, I guess. guess you're not asking for much but there was one point though where I thought you might even try and couple up with Laura <laughs> That would have been great. <laughs> Literally. Thank you so Appreciate much for it. your time and well done, Jay. Yeah. Woo!